Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do my updated like foundation routine or daily foundation routine and I've actually been using a powder foundation lately and also everything that I've been using for like my base has been drugstore and I just noticed that the other day so I was like oh my gosh I should totally make a video on this <laughs> because these are some really great products that are super affordable. So anyway, I think I won't ramble too much, I'll just get started. And Okay, so I already did my eyes and my eyebrows just for the sake of the video, but normally I would do this after the foundation, but just so that it would be like completed and done, I've already done it. Oh my gosh, I'll be right back, I gotta wash my sponge. Okay, I'm back with a clean sponge. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by priming my face, and lately I've been loving the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. I used to use this all the time, then I recently started using it again, and I really like it. So I just put this where I have large pores, which is mostly around my nose, and I pat it in. I find that when I pat this product, it really hides those pores a lot better. I kind of smear some onto my nose, and whatever's left, I just like blend outward. Then I put a little bit on my chin, which also has a few large pores, and on my forehead. The next step I do is conceal any acne or like the pigment that I have on my face. And lately I've been liking the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. Um, I really like the shade of this, that's the main reason that I like it. Um, or the Tarte Shape Tape, but since I am doing this all drugstore, I'm going to use the e.l.f. today. Dot it around my face. If I'm in a really big hurry, I will also use the same concealer a little bit under my eyes. But I'm going to show you what I do like if I want to brighten up my under eye. And then to blend this out, I either use my fingers or a brush. So you can either just like lightly tap that out. You can see like this concealer blends really easily, so I find that using my fingers for this is pretty much fine. It's going to look, at least on me, it's going to look a little splotchy right now because this concealer pretty much matches my body, but my face is a little bit lighter than my body, so you can really see it a lot better that way. And then for my under eye concealer, like I said, I either use this same concealer if I'm in a hurry and I don't want to brighten things up, or I use the Master Conceal which has been my favorite for a long time. And then lately I've been using this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind every now and then as well. This is a little bit more lightweight and this has more coverage. So I'm just gonna use this one today. And I do just like I would if I was using like a cream or a, I mean a liquid foundation. And I just like kind of do a triangle. And I just put a little bit Chin on my chin, down my nose, and in between my brows. So I like to use a sponge to blend out my under eye concealer. Just it's just is easier, and I find that it is a little bit more like flawless looking. So, but again, you could totally use your fingers for this as well. Okay, then before I actually apply the powder foundation. I just set underneath my eyes and I like the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I bought this at Walgreens a while back. <clears throat> I do really like this for setting underneath my eyes. And I just use my sponge. You could use a brush. Whatever. And I just pat that underneath my eyes and that'll keep it bright. Okay, so now we can move on to the actual powder foundation. The powder that I've been using is the Super Stay Better Skin. And this doesn't, I was like looking on the packaging the other day, it doesn't actually say that it's a powder foundation, at least anywhere that I could find on here. It just says skin transforming powder with salicylic acid. But I realized one day that this had really awesome coverage for a powder, and then I tried it as just a powder foundation, and it really worked. So the shade that I've been preferring is 25 Nude Beige. I actually got this in an, what are those called, a Vox box recently, and in a shade darker, I think, which is a little dark for me. Well, I don't know, I just put a little self-tanner on, so we'll see. But 
I think this matches me pretty darn well. And my favorite brush to use for powder foundation is the e.l.f. powder brush. Mine's a little dirty, but it's just like the flat top um, kabuki. Is this a kabuki? I don't know. It just is supposed to be like a powder brush and it works really well for powder foundation because it's really dense, yet fluffy, so it's not like making you look cakey. So, anyway, I just dip the brush into the powder, kind of swirl it around like that, and then I just start blending it onto my face, and I start where I need the most coverage, which is obviously like my cheek slash jawline area, so I just swirl this on to my face. I would say that this powder isn't completely full, full coverage, which is why I like to use a concealer beforehand, but it's definitely at least a medium, I would say. So if you don't have any acne or scars or anything to cover and maybe just like a little bit of redness around the nose or something like that, I think this would cover it. So I just swirl this onto my face. I just, I just got an email from Domino's. See how nice this looks? I have really noticed that powder is just looking better on my skin than liquid lately, so that's why I've been doing this. Plus, it's way quicker. Like, look at that. And I find that this powder really blends out nice. And also, this has salicylic acid, so if you have acne or anything, I mean, I don't know if it really makes a difference, but it can't hurt. If you have any spots on your face, you can all also conceal with this powder, so like... Use a little brush or your finger and put extra powder over those areas and I find that that covers pretty well as, as well. <laughs> okay, so that's the actual powder foundation routine. Now I'm just going to quickly go through and show you what I use to contour and blush and highlight and then that'll be it. So, so the bronzer that I've been using is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is like more cool toned I find so it can actually work as kind of a contour and I just use a fluffy brush this is the Morphe E3 it's like tapered yet fluffy and I just kind of put this everywhere okay so there's the bronzer now the next product is the only thing that I'm going to show you today that is not drugstore, and that is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This has just been my daily highlight, so I thought I would show it instead of just using a drugstore one um, that I never use. <laughs> um, but this is something that I always use, and I find that the price isn't terrible, and I actually bought this at Kohl's. I don't remember the price. Maybe it was high. <laughs> I don't remember it being terrible, though. Um, so I just highlight with that with this. Of course you don't have to highlight your face either so this could totally be drugstore and you could just not use a highlighter or you could use a drugstore highlighter that you already enjoy. I just really like this highlighter a lot and it's what I've been using every day. It's what's on my brow bone as well. And then the blush that I've been using lately, I've just been obsessed with it. I haven't used anything else. It's kind of ridiculous. It is the Wet n Wild Ombre Blush in the Princess Daiquiris. And it is so pretty. I haven't really heard a whole lot about this on YouTube, but I really like it. So I'm just going to do that. This is the Morphe E4 uh, angled brush. And it just blends all of that. And it has a nice glow to it. Like, ooh. So pretty. I really love this blush. It's really subtle, though. But they also have a purple shade, which I haven't tried yet. And I feel like that would be, or could give you a little more drama, if that's what you're looking for. Or if you have a deeper skin tone, maybe. But I really like this blush. Then if you need any more blending, just use this. If my bronzer got a little messy, this is another reason why I really love this flat top brush. You can just kind of like fix it up with your powder foundation. 
Um, so I'm just going to put on some lip gloss, which is what I normally do, and apply a little bit of lower lash mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've put the rest of my makeup on, there is one final step that I do on most days, just because it is a powder foundation, and that is using a setting spray. The setting spray that I've been using is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Mine is almost empty. Um, this is super cheap, and I find that it doesn't irritate my skin at all. Um, and this, I don't know if this really prolongs my makeup, but it just kind of melts everything into my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And once that dries, then my makeup look is complete. And this is what I do pretty much every day that I wear makeup. I think that it's really daytime appropriate, and I think it's really pretty and feminine and easy. <laughs> pretty fast, I can put this makeup on super fast now that I've done it so much. It's just like second nature. But anyway, I think that's all I have to say. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite everyday makeup products are. And I guess that's it. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.